Hi everybody, uh, here is again Daruna. Today we will talk about the eternal topic uh, about the Armenian Duduk. And this eternal topic is uh, the problems with the tuning. No? Uh, I have already spoken about this, but today I will just show you one uh, example. And this is actually this read. This read uh, I bought a couple of years ago in Armenia uh, from one quite unfamous maker, but uh, I have two reads of him and this one is like my favorite one and many many things, many lessons I did on that, uh, on this uh, read. You see how much, how much different they are, both are for the key of A. So, see like, not only the length, but also the width is important. How, how wide, how broad is it here? This is also important, so which makes both of them the key of A. But uh, this one is a problematic one. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about this adjustment ring, or however you call it. So that ring with, with which we adjust the tuning, no? The pitch. So, and sometimes we uh, buy duduks from, from shops, and the vendors combine, combine your parcel, taking a duduk from this maker and the reads from that maker, whatever they have in stock. Um, and sometimes they can't play themselves, so they just know, okay, this product is good, this product is good, we got it from a good maker, and we just combine it, and maybe he can play a couple of notes, but also not properly, and um, like that. So uh, it is not combined by one maker, like let's say by one duduk maker who made the duduk, and then he himself purchased the read from another reads maker and then he combined it himself so that everything is in tune. What happens quite quite uh, often is that the problem is just in this ring. So the ring doesn't have a proper position or like maybe the reads maker did not put much attention into, into it, you know? Yeah, and then in the end uh, you find that your duduk is out of tune and you could not do anything. So one of the advices I, I heard in Armenia that uh, you can just check the read, um, you can play it without without the ring, and then you see if the whole thing is in tune or not. What what I mean by the whole thing, I mean uh, if the if it is in tune between the notes between the holes, uh, maybe it will be like uh, flatter in pitch, like in general, or it could be not sharper, I guess, but. Since you since you remove the ring, it could be only flatter. So, but if uh, the whole thing, like between the notes here, is in tune, that means that duduk is in tune and the read is also in tune. The problem is this little thing, which is just, you know, that's why I always say never throw away uh, the rings from your uh, from the old reads. Like if you don't play the read anymore and you throw it out never throw this thing away, you know. I don't know how to actually, how to process them, maybe just to cut here something out or even to put something inside to create that um, good position on the read. It just uh, uh, looked like I was too quick uh, in buying uh, those reads and I did not check it properly and the maker was like a little bit in a rush selling them to me um, so he also did not put, put much attention to the ring. So since then, I've changed a lot of them trying on this read, but no one of them uh, would match. And even in my last recording I made here in India, uh, I realized that that uh, read was the best, like in that weather conditions, uh, it produced the best sound and it lasted like. Uh, for the longest, so I could play it for uh, many, many minutes and it did not absorb too much water, so it did not uh, become like not playable. So what I did in the studio, I just played it without ring. I show you how, how it goes. So I just put the B, B note. Look. Perfectly in tune, but if you put the wrong ring, 
Yeah, and immediately uh, the pitch goes just 30 cents higher, that means quarter of the tone, which is a lot. You cannot play with someone together if you are a quarter, uh, quarter note sharper. I put 30 cents sharper. You see, and this is the minimum position. Uh, it's just, just a little bit squeezing the reed. It's already like 30 cents higher. This is crazy. It's just, it's just not working. Whatever, whatever position I take, like this, 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 and whatever ring I take from any of my reeds, it just doesn't work with this one. Only if I play 30 cents higher. Okay, between this one and this one it works. But here, with all holes closed, it's, it's flatter. If I pitch up the drone, um, you know, to this to this uh, ring position, still I'm kind of out of tune. Yeah, I can play three and two position, three and three position, but when I go to four and four, I have already to squeeze my lips on the on the F sharp note here down. You know, like I already have to to do something more than than necessary. And this is just because of this thing. And I don't have a proper one. So guys, this is a little lesson for you how it can be like wrong tuning, just little, little this makes it all. If the reed is not tuned by itself without the ring between the notes, then the reed is okay. You know, at least the reed is okay and the duke is okay, you can be like uh, sure about it. If the duke is new and you and you don't know, maybe the duke has some problem or not. Or, but anyway, it will not help if your uh, lips uh, position is not correct, if you are not playing correctly. So the best uh, thing I can advise here, you just grab it a little bit, really a little bit. Like this you, you give freedom to the reed to, uh, to produce the proper sound and the proper tuning. If you grab it more, you will be out of tune. That was Karuna. Guys, I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.